Greetings, dear viewers! TLC's hit reality show 90 Day Fiancé took the world by storm. It was so entertaining that viewers couldn't get enough and it spawned a couple of spin-off shows. There's just something about watching people put their hearts on the line for the world to see that we find exciting and gets our juice in flowing. The brave men and women that take that leap of faith at a chance of love bear it all for all to critique. Whether it's true love or a potential green card motivation, some 90 Day Fiancé alumni appearing on television and giving total strangers a glimpse into one's love life is no easy feat. There are couples like Lauren and Alexei who are the real deal and found love on the show, while others aren't as lucky. For most, their time on 90 Day Fiancé ends in heartbreak and possibly a huge therapist bill. 15. We thought would make it. Chelsea and Yamir are still on friendly terms after their divorce. The pair seemed head over heels in love and fans couldn't get enough. But after two years together, Chelsea and Yamir called it quits. Unlike most 90 Day Fiancé couples, Chelsea and Yamir's divorce was amicable. Neither one of the two gave out details pertaining to their split nor bashed each other on social media. Now that's how it's done, folks. 14. Obvious breakup. Darcy and Tom were a disaster waiting to happen. Viewers watched the train wreck that was Tom and Darcy's relationship play out on television. It was clear that Darcy was too eager to settle down and Tom wasn't at all into it. It was just a matter of time before they called it quits. The duo had one of the nastiest breakups in 90 Day Fiancé history. 13. Thought would make it. Tiffany claims she is still married to Ronald. Rumors of a divorce between Tiffany and South African native Ronald hit the web. However, according to Screen Rant, Tiffany took to Instagram to announce that she and Ronald were neither separated nor divorced. The pair are a fan favorite, and the news of a possible reconciliation was exactly what their fans were waiting to hear. 12. Obvious breakup. Angela and Michael are trying to make it work. Despite tying the knot in Nigeria, Michael and Angela are still living apart. Their attempts to secure Michael a visa to join Angela in America seem futile and it begs the question, how long will they continue trying to reunite before they give up? As entertaining as they are to watch, it's hard to picture them growing old together. 11. Thought would make it. Fernanda and Jonathan were a fan favorite from the get-go. The back and forth that ensued after Fernanda Flores and Jonathan Rivera split was uncomfortable to witness. The 90 Day Fiancé stars were well liked by viewers, but that did not guarantee a happy marriage. Fernanda made disappearing remarks against Jonathan, and the latter took to social media to clear his name. So much drama. 10. Obvious breakup. Larissa and Colt were not a perfect fit. After seven months of marriage, Colt Johnson and Larissa Dos Santos Lima called it quits. The news didn't come as a surprise, as the pair didn't seem to get along and Larissa was arrested several times on domestic violence charges. The duo have since moved on from their unfortunate and very brief marriage. 9. Thought would make it. Jason Hitch and Kesha Tavares' turbulent marriage made headlines. Fans were rooting for lovebirds Kesha Tavares and Jason Hitch, but some things are just not mean to be. It is even believed that the police were once called during one of the couple's altercations. The pair's turbulent marriage didn't stand the test of time and they went their separate ways. 8. Obvious breakup. Lisa and Usman have been called out for their unhealthy relationship. Lisa and Usman's relationship has many wondering what the heck is going on. Lisa has been called out for her controlling behavior, while many have accused Usman for using Lisa for a green card. What is clear is that Lisa is bad for Usman's career. The pair should probably just call it quits while they are ahead. 7. Thought would make it. Are Paul and Karine still together? Paul traveled all the way to Brazil to be with the love of his life, Karine. The lovebirds had their fair share of relationship troubles, from language barriers to trust issues. Love conquered, and the pair tied the knot and had an adorable son together. However, it appears Paul and Karine went their separate ways. 6. Obvious breakup. Courtney and Antonio were not on the same page. Watching Courtney and Antonio was extremely uncomfortable. Firstly, Antonio didn't seem interested in making the relationship work, and secondly, Courtney was simply trying too hard. To the surprise of no one, the couple eventually called it quits. While Courtney may have been looking for love, Antonio just liked being on television. 
5. We thought it would make it. Hazel and Tariq are still living apart. Hazel and Tariq's brother did not hit it off because Tariq's brother was suspicious of Hazel's intentions and whether she was with Tariq for the right reasons. Hazel's reluctance to be intimate with Tariq did not help matters either. It seems the couple are still together but living apart. Hmm. 4. Obvious breakup. Jenny and Sumit's love was doomed to fail. Jenny and Sumit's forbidden love was rocky from the get-go and it was obvious that Sumit wasn't being truthful. It turns out he had a wife in India and Jenny was none the wiser. It all came to a head when Sumit's family and his wife confronted the lovebirds, leaving poor Jenny heartbroken and betrayed. 3. Thought would make it. Louis remarried soon after his divorce from Molly. Louis' lack of interest in Molly's kids and his failure to connect with his stepkids ultimately led to their breakup. In the beginning, the pair seemed committed to their relationship, but that doesn't seem like the case now. Louis remarried only five months after his divorce from Molly. 2. Obvious breakup. Ed and Rose are an odd pair. Ed and Rose are part of the fourth season of 90 Day Fiancé before the 90 Days. Ed seems a tad controlling and it's apparent Rose can't stand him. They are an obvious breakup waiting to happen and we just don't see them together. Time will tell and maybe prove us wrong. Love always wins, right? 1. We thought would make it. Akini and Benjamin's relationship status remains unknown. Single dad Benjamin and his Kenyan beauty Akini started off on shaky ground, with her stating that Benjamin was not an alpha male and him being grilled by her brother. There was the whole bright price fiasco and now the fate of their relationship is unknown. They were cute together, but Akini didn't seem ready for matrimony. That's it for now, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to stay tuned.